Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today's video we're going to be looking at the highest rated eyeshadow palettes on the Sephora website, specifically the top five. And I'm going to actually show you ten palettes in total because the first five palettes we're going to show you are the actual top five according to the Sephora algorithm when I did this video today. But that just means that they're the highest rated according to something and they don't have a lot of reviews. For example, this Black Up palette only has three reviews, so it has all five stars. I don't necessarily think that makes it really the greatest eyeshadow palette on the website. Similarly, this Love Trust and Fairy Dust eyeshadow palette from Tarte, that has two reviews on it. They might be perfect reviews, but that palette just came out like two days ago, I think. Plus this Smashbox gift set, that just includes a lot of eyeshadow, so people did like it, but again, there's only five reviews of that. And then they have the Naked Foursomes. This is four of the Naked palettes from Urban Decay, all included in one gift set. So obviously that's going to score highly, but I wouldn't call that the greatest eyeshadow palette. And this Cinema Secrets Ultimate Eyeshadow 501 Pro Palette has one review. So again, not the same thing. So I was thinking to myself, what actually constitutes, you know, an appropriate number of reviews? And because this is super scientific, you know, a YouTube video about makeup, so I decided, hey, why don't I just say as long as it's got 50 reviews or more, that's what I will consider to be the highest rated palette on Sephora. And that is this. This is the Violet Boss Like a Boss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And frankly, this swatch beautifully in stores. It's only because I don't need this particular color selection that I didn't personally pick it up, but I think it's a great deal. I think the Violet Boss eyeshadow formula is great. And for 45 bucks, that's a lot of colors. And then this would be the second one. Now there's a big difference here because this has 781 reviews on it. And this is a really beautiful Too Faced Chocolate Gold eyeshadow palette. I really was very interested in getting this palette as well. The only reason I didn't pick this up is because I had already spent money on the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette and I didn't want to be duplicating eyeshadows because I felt a lot of these are definitely, you know, metallics, beautiful shimmery foiled metallics that look great, but I already have plenty of metallics. So that's why I skipped this particular palette. And then obviously we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. This has 8,217 reviews, so honestly, you know, that seems to say pretty highly about it. Again, this is a beautiful palette for people who like those particular colors. I don't necessarily use those colors on a regular basis, so this is a palette I've always thought about getting, but I've never actually purchased. But it's nice to see that it is definitely very highly rated, and you know, I'm sure that the formula is lovely. I have other ABH eyeshadows, just not this particular one. I also don't have this one either. This is the Soft Glam eyeshadow palette. This has 1,479 reviews, and this is very, very highly rated. I thought this palette looked beautiful. I went and swatched this palette, and the thing is, it's really, really nice. And I have a lot of other colors in other palettes. Maybe not all put in the same palette, but I have other palettes that would give me this look. So that is why I decided not to purchase this particular palette either. But I have recommended it to friends if they were looking for a palette to start with. That would be a very good one to do so. And last, we have the Urban Decay, the original Naked palette. Again, 8,217 reviews, highly rated. People love this palette. It's often like someone's first palette. And this is not a palette I ever owned. I owned a lot of Urban Decay eyeshadow, but I never owned one of the Naked palettes. I think at the time, the Naked palettes just seemed way too expensive for me when I was a teenager. I just couldn't afford them, so I never picked one up. I had some of the smaller Urban Decay shadow palettes, but never one of these. So it's really interesting to me to see exactly what is considered, you know, these are the highest rated eyeshadow palettes on this website. And I don't own any of them. And I have an extensive collection, and I've decluttered an extensive amount of makeup, and I still don't own any of these eyeshadow palettes. However, I do feel I have a good amount of eyeshadow, and I have all of these colors contained in some other palette. I guess it's really just about whether you like the brand, if you like their particular formula. And I want to be clear, I think the ABH eyeshadows are really cool. I just don't have anything in those particular color sets. I don't wear those eyeshadow colors. This Naked palette looks nice, but at the same time, I have all those shades contained somewhere else. And it's a similar thing with the Violet Boss. It's why I skipped out on that one, too. In any case, I ended up putting this video together because I was curious what the top five rated palettes were, and I was really surprised by what was there and that I didn't own any of it. So I just thought it would be interesting. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see me do a video on, please put that in the comments down below. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.